Today app of the week is going to be Haya. It's an awesome app that helps you block spam calls and I'm going to go through and show you how to use it in this video. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin from Helpful Tutorials. Thank you so much for being here and if you do like iPhone tutorials, tips, tricks, and app discovery, please do me a favor and smack that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Now let's go ahead and just jump right in and check out the app of the week. This week we're going with Haya. We're going to go ahead and click on it here and explain a little more about it. It's going to give you some information. What it does is identify and blocks unwanted phone calls. So you're getting those phone calls that keep coming in and they're telemarkers or trying to scam you, all that stuff. This is an app that will help you out. Again, this is not a sponsored video. It's just an app that I think people need to be aware about. So we're going to go ahead and read everything and choose Get Started, Protect, Enable Call Protection. So we're going to open up Settings. And then it's going to show here to tap the phone, then call blocking and identification, and enable HIA 1 and 2. So let me go ahead and get that set up. Okay, so let's go ahead and do what it said. It said go ahead and go and choose settings, and go ahead and go to phone. We're going to scroll down for phone. There's phone. We're going to go ahead and choose that. And now we're going to go ahead and choose call blocking and identification. Gonna tap on that, and then what we're going to do is an allow HIA 1 and then HIA 2. And then we can simply close out of settings, go back into HIA, and now it's going through and setting things up. So let me explain a little bit what's going on here. So when you receive those spam calls, what they usually do is they take either these first six digits of your phone number or first five digits of your phone number and make it look like it's coming from a call near you. So this app identifies that and makes a list of that. The reason you have to enable two things is because there's so many numbers that it just needs to go ahead and have two options. So with this, now if I get any of those calls coming in, it will go ahead and block them. You can go ahead and also choose block fraud calls, block nuances. We'll go ahead and choose fraud calls and nuance calls. So what this is doing is it's downloading a list of the newest numbers that they've identified that are scamming people. So this is going to pretty much block like 99% of the calls that the apps can block. You can go ahead and get the premium version, but I don't think it's really worth it for the extra percentage. I think it's good here. You do have another option down here, whitelist my contacts. I would go ahead and click that and choose OK. What this is doing is it's going through your contacts and saying these people are OK. Don't block them. Now, it's not going to block them unless they're on their li your list, but if they do have a similar phone number to you, it's a good idea to go ahead and allow this and it's complete. So now we are all set. So we are all blocked. So the protect tab is the main tab you're going to be using on this. Give it a try. See how it works. If for some reason you don't like it, you can always go ahead and just delete it and go back in your settings and turn those off. Basically the opposite of this. But it should go ahead and protect you from a lot of spam calls and you know it'll really help you in the future. So people aren't just bothering you while you're at work or while you're trying to sleep. It's just so frustrating when you're getting phone calls all the time and none of them are legit. So this is something that will really help. And I hope this video did help you out. If so, please do me a favor and hit that like for me. I really do appreciate the view. And here's some other videos that you may like. I'll see you over there.